Hey there, Patreon peeps. Um, I'm working in the studio today. I figured I'd do a little demo video for how I throw my berry bowls. Um, I'm changing them up a little bit this year with the outside texture a little bit, but um, this should actually also be applicable if you're throwing bowls as well. So depends on what you're going for. But um, this is the berry bowl that I just threw. So this is gonna be what we're shooting for. It really doesn't look any different than a regular bowl, honestly. So um, this is what we're shooting for. And Marvel's messing with the camera. So let's, uh, and then let's show you one that's already done. So this is my white clay. I just made a bunch of these in white clay, but you can see the texture. You can see the holes in them, the foot, you got a trimmed foot. And then it's got the little carve outs there. So that's what we're going to make. And we're going to go through a demo of that now. So let's move you down a little bit. There we go. All right, hopefully Marvel didn't try and jump on me. So ball clay I'm starting with one pound and a half. So pound and a half. I like to throw these on the square bats so I can fit a lot of them on a board. Um, and if you notice, I like standing and throwing. So we're gonna get that spinning about medium fast. Cone up, cone down, right into center. Tuna can. All right, then we're gonna open up. All right, so the base is about, I don't know, about three inches wide, something like that. Add a little water. We're gonna pull up the side. Okay, first pull is good. Then I'm gonna slow the wheel down a little bit. About medium. A little more water. All right, and this is where I'm gonna start going into a bowl shape. So you can see my hands on the inside are angled outward a little bit more. And I'm getting some more height there, but I'm also getting more of an open kind of V shape on the walls. All right, and then we got one more pull. So this one's gonna be kind of a refinement, get to that final shape that we're going for. And I'm not really moving that much clay. I'm just kind of pushing the clay into the shape that I want in the final spot. So get the water out of the inside, keep that rim clean, all right, that's good. So we're good so far. Then I'm gonna use this uh, Dirty Girls. I think this is a 45-45 uh, wooden knife. That's what I used to undercut. I think I forgot to mention on that first one that I will mention when I throw one more. Um, and then I'm gonna use this use this uh, metal rib and I like to use this kind of corner on here to get the texture I like. So I'm going to go up the outside and utilize that texture. Just simple, subtle, adds a little bit of character to it. And then we're done. So I'm going to stop this. You know, I love to use this thin, Dirty Girls uh, wire cutter. It's like a seven inch cutter, so you don't have to wrap it around your hand or anything like that. And it's perfect for these bats because the bats are, I think, seven and a half inches, seven inches, something like that. And you could just put your thumbs down right on the edge of the bat corners. And it's like the perfect size for that. So I pretty much use that for every single piece that I throw um, that's, you know, on this bat. Okay, so it's pretty good. Quick, simple, 
And then I'll we'll mention one other thing that I forgot to mention on this one. So um, I forgot to mention the depth of the inside for the floor. Something you should keep in mind. So one thing to note is we are going to trim a foot on these. So make sure that when you're setting your floor, you're not going too deep. So I'll throw one more here, kind of quick. Okay, so I'm setting my floor. I make sure I don't go as far down as what I normally would. So most of my bowls that I throw, if they're a regular cereal bowl, they do not have a trimmed inner foot on them. I am just trimming away the excess on the bottom edge where it goes from the sidewall to the floor. I'm just trimming out a little bit of that. But these I do have to have an inner foot because I'm gonna put holes in them. And if you're draining it, you sit it on something, you don't want it to just like sit. You kind of want it to like leak out under the trimmed foot. So that's kind of why you want a trimmed foot on these for variables. Okay, so get that first pull. Compress that lip. Second pull, start to get the shape. Get more height. And then the refinement pull. Water out. It's kind of up to you on the exact style design uh, proportions here. I'm not super um, specific about like they have to be this width, this height. I just kind of throw them consistently. This one is probably a little bit taller than the last one. But I would say generally I want them a little more open and not so like closed in at the top just because you can fit some more berries in there or grapes or whatever you're putting in there. Undercut. All right, let's add a little design to it. So next step for these, we'll be trimming them, adding the holes to them, whatnot. Um, I think I might have a separate video for that. So we'll see. But there we go. Trimmed, inside looks good, walls look good, and uh, that's it. So thanks for watching. See you later.